One day in Ireland, I was walking past the ruins of this old church, and I looked up, and what did I see? But the carved image of a person, and I got a little closer, and I could see that what this person was doing was reaching down to spread her vulva out to the countryside. I was totally amazed. And it turns out that this is a whole class of images called Sheila Nagigs. These images often described as older women or crones reaching down to open their vulvas occur throughout the Irish countryside as well as in parts of the UK and France as well. I have now become fascinated by these Sheila Nagigs and I'm so excited to share a little bit more with you. I'm Asia Suler of One Willow Apothecaries, and this is your guide to meeting the mysterious Sheila Nagigs. Sheila Nagigs are medieval figures that first started appearing around the 12th century on the sides of churches, but also on other buildings and gateposts, most often in the countryside. The name Sheila Nagig is still used in the countryside, and although its etymological roots are a little bit murky, the few directions that we can go in help us understand that Sheila Nagig is most likely a derivative of Sheila of the Vagina. And it makes sense because the one thing that defines a Sheila Nagig is that she is reaching down to open her legs and actually show her vulva to the countryside. Now, why are these appearing on the sides of medieval churches in the countryside? What does this mean? Well, in order to understand, we have to go back to our pagan roots. Pagan, at its origin, just meant of the countryside. The reason why these Sheila Nagigs show up in the countryside is because this is where the old ways held on the strongest. In the medieval period, in Ireland, throughout the UK, and France, the old ways were still strong in the countryside, and even though Christianity had come to flourish there as well, there was really an intermingling of beliefs happening. So these Sheila Nagigs were placed on the sides of churches for several reasons. We can't know for sure. All we can do is guess and look at archeological records and how this symbolism of the vulva was seen in ancient Europe and beyond. One of the reasons that we think they appear on the side of churches is as a form of protection. Amazingly, in the ancient world, vaginas and vulvas in particular, the pictorial vulva, was seen as a literal badge of protection. Plutarch, the Greek essayist, said that all women need to do to end a war is simply lift their skirts. In Russian tradition, if you're being chased by a bear, all you have to do is lift up your dress and flash your vulva and it will scare the bear away. Even up to the 1800s, there are depictions and illustrations of women lifting their skirts to scare the devil away. Now, why would vulvas be something that would offer protection? Well, at its most basic, the pictorial vulva is an ancestral human symbol for the origin of life. In fact, the image of vulvas are arguably the oldest image of the human imagination. There are drawings of vulvas that appear in the oldest cave paintings on earth. For humans, the vulva was a symbol of our origin. It was where we came from and where divine energy and guidance can come into the world. So these old symbols of protection were placed on the side of churches to help people embrace Christianity and feel like the goddess of old was still with them. There's also evidence that these Sheilas actually marked boundaries between territories, creating sovereignty in the land. To date, these Sheilas are still used as agents of blessings. Women will go and actually rub the vulvas on these Sheilas to ask for things like fertility or ease in childbirth. 
The way these shilas continue to exist throughout the medieval period and into today shows us the way in which this aspect of the divine that we call the feminine has continued here on the planet. Now, the feminine is not about gender. It's not about female, male, or non-binary. The feminine is an energy, and it's an energy most associated with earth energy, connecting to the deep rhythms, sovereignty, power, and magic of the earth. And incredibly, for our ancestors, the vulva was the gateway to connect into that energy. So I was particularly moved by these experiences of visiting Sheila's throughout my travels in the UK, in part because a big piece of my journey has been dealing with chronic pain and infection in this area of my body. My whole world was blown open when I dealt with chronic yeast infections and a chronic pain condition called vulvodynia. And I came to see how issues that manifest in this part of our body are not here to punish us. They're actually here to help us open that gateway again, that gateway that the Sheilas know very well, that gateway that has been a part of the human imagination since the beginning. When we cut ourselves off from our root, we cut ourselves off from connection with the earth. So often when we manifest issues in this area of our body, it's asking us to reconnect to reconnect to this earth power, this earth wisdom, and to reconnect to the energy that we call the feminine that is moving us back towards healing and balance again on this planet. So if you are someone who is dealing with issues in this area of their body or simply wants to connect more deeply to their vulva, their vagina, and the portal that lives in your pelvis, then check out my course, Multidimensional Vaginal Healing. In this course, we actually look at all the different levels on which the messages that come to us through this area of our body are helping us to heal not only ourselves, but our communities and the world. And if you'd like to go even deeper, then you can upgrade to my larger program, The Pussy Portal. In this program, I take everything I present in multidimensional vaginal healing and we go in. We explore how issues in this area of our body can help us learn how to heal our relationships to ourself, to our loved ones, to our ancestors, and to the earth. This larger program has protocols for healing, meditations, as well as guides that will help you connect into the channel that you are for earth energy and the power that is wanting to be unleashed just by coming back into connection with this sacred portal. In the Pussy Portal class, I do use the word pussy as an effort to reclaim this word for those of us who have one and are ready to see how this word, just like the word witch, can actually be used to re-empower ourselves. So if you want to learn more about these programs, you can head on over to my website, onewillowapothecaries.com, and once there, you can sign up to become a part of the inner circle, where I will send videos like this, gateways, guides, and meditations to your inbox every single month. So have you heard of these Sheila and the gigs before? What do you think about them? How do you feel in your body when I talk about this concept of the vagina or the vulva as something sacred, as a portal into the divine and an emblem of protection. I would love to hear about what this video brought up for you in the comment section here below. So please know whatever kind of body you're in, however your body likes to express itself, your body is perfect. Your body is wise. Your body knows exactly what you need to heal and your body is divine.